Alright, here we are. This is the uh, first demo of the Randall Jr. From uh, Dogfish Head. It's, uh, it's a Hoptimum Hopulator. Hop that thing. Uh, test on it. I got a 10 toes Centennial IPA. Single, single hop. Centennial is the hop. It's a fine IPA brewed by the uh, Fishbrook Pond and Lonesome Shoe Brewing Company, a collaboration of two of the greats, two of the, two of the top brewers uh, in, uh, in the upper U.S. Right now. Anyway, the key is this. There's some uh, Oregon Fresh Hops Centennial, um, same as the Single Hop Ale. Um, the hop flowers have been frozen for a while, thawing out. We're going to take an ounce of them, stuff it in the, uh, the little Randall guy in here, pour the beer in, put it in the fridge for 20 minutes, and then it's just going to be, not hopefully, it's going to be a happy delight. Okay. Start by uh, weighing out about an ounce of Suckers. Popsicles. Oof. Yeah, it's the light, the, the, the uh, botanical cousin of the weed, cannabis. So, maybe, maybe why I like it so much, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it all up. Yeah, to get, get out the uh, stems and seeds, all that stuff, and then we'll be back for the show. Alright, we're back. There's the uh, hot flowers. We'll break it up. Kind of eyeball it. And about a an ounce of hops in there. Probably, yeah, it looks about good. But, uh, yeah, look at that. It smells. It smells wonderful. Yeah, it does. They're hops. And, yeah, you just kind of break it up. Put up a little of this. The idea is to get the uh, the oils, the aromas from it. I'm gonna soak into the beer and uh, pretty much hop optimize it, yeah, you know, to the max. And it's it's a wonder if people even bothered to drink the beer before this thing was invented because I'm telling you, never get enough hops. I think, that's, uh, I think that's pretty good. Okay. Just a leafy. Leafy things. Well. That's the first test. Here we got the uh, Rinsed it out once, just just did. So you you're just gonna throw them in. Well, let's see, that's, that's about now. Yeah. What you want to do? Give you ten toes IPA. Well, 
because you probably want to down the side like a like the beer. I don't know that we'll get a whole bomber in here, we'll see what it takes. Too much at all really. Let it settle again and see what happens. Oops. Got more down there. Get off. Yeah, that looking good. Yeah, looking good. And now ready to go here. Yep. Approximately, yeah, we just about uh, 12 ounces of beer. Mm -hmm. Keep it all up. Now, now we're right to the fridge. Respectable scientist knows, or drunkard for that matter, um, you need a control group. So I, I poured the rest of this. I, about half of the bottle is uh, in there, in there getting optimized, and um, I poured the bottle, the rest of it in here. We'll try this straight up. It's a fine. It's a delicious, happy room. As it is, you know. You might think it doesn't need more, but this is America. More is better. All right, we're back. Um, shit, I got just stage fright. Stop. Time to drink some beer. Alright, let's take a look at this. Look at all those fresh hops. I may have darkened it up a little bit up till there. Anyway, we're gonna pour it in. The strainer, see how it compares to the, uh, the fine Tenko's IPA straight up. Let it go. See there is a, a strainer. See if they get too much of the uh, Well, let's see, we get about a half a pint. Ooh, smells, smells just, uh, just hoppy. Very good. 